Rakeem, we'll start with an easy one. Just talk about that play on third and one to make a stop and get the ball back for your offense in a tight game. Uh, I mean, you know, when I come in the game, uh, I'm backing up Vita Bay and uh, Will Gosson and Sue. I just got to know what's going on. And that was one of them times my preparation came into play. I knew the play. I seen the formation before. I seen it on film. So the game really slowed down. And I knew I can get off and make that play. I seen it before it happened. Anybody who has been to a practice has heard you before. How much do you pride yourself on being that vocal guy in, in, in the huddle and being a vocal leader? I mean, that's me. That's how I come to work. I, I can't come to work being too serious. I can't come to work being too focused. Uh, me playing, me talking, that's one of my things, you know. Uh, if I come to work down, people ask me, what's wrong with you? I'm like, shoot, I'm just trying to be normal. So just me coming around and uh, talking about, you know, my stuff, my crap, whatever I do to get people going and, you know, put the fuel in the fire. That's just how I play the game. I approach it. I love it, and I can't hide it. Jack said you were um, getting people – you were being vocal right before that play in the huddle. Do you remember what you said? Uh, the biggest thing, like, sometimes I look in God's face and, you know, things weren't going the way we planned. We kind of let the Falcons stay with us. And I was like, look here, bro, we're not losing. Come out here and play with energy. Play how you know how to play. We got the guys to win. And just, you know, let your personality show within the game. So come out here, play what you, you know, do what you do best, and we're going to be all right. That's why I was just kept telling them, I'm, I'm going to go. I told Vontae, whatever you need me to do, I'm going to do. And sure, I just put my hand in the dirt and let it go. Some people will say that luck happened today, but luck is when opportunity meets preparation, right? Exactly. You guys are prepared and the opportunity was there, correct? Exactly. We did all the films say we knew everything was going to happen. The Falcons didn't do anything different than what we already seen. We just allowed them to stay around. Then when we honed in what we need to do and we understand, like, okay, time to buckle down. You've seen the score and you've seen the results. Rakeem, did the defense obviously kind of let the Falcons back in the game. How sweet is it that you guys are the ones that can kind of put things away at the end? Man, it's big because, I mean, we know what we want to be as a defense and we know where we want to go. And we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. And sometimes when we don't reach our own expectations, we got to look back at halftime and evaluate what we need to do to come back out. And that's kind of what we did. We was like, okay, this is not what we want to do. It's not who we want to be. And so we talked to each other and we knew what we had to do and we came out and we executed your personal goals heading into next week, heading into the next game? Oh, uh, we can't let butts beat bucks, and that means from the penalties, that means from busted coverages, that means from, you know, the defensive front getting out of their gaps, just hone in on the fundamentals and allow the other team to have to make plays to beat us. Were you lined up right on the nose on that play, or where were you lined up exactly? Uh, I was actually in the three. So we had uh, Steve McLean at the nose, and we had me at the three. But like I said, I've seen that play before, and I've seen that formation, so... Once I seen what the guard was trying to do, I was like, okay, I know what to do. I'm going to get off this ball. It just happened that it, <laughs> it happened the right way, and I love it. You guys have two really important games that will tell the story of, of your, your season early on. Um, these next two weeks, the Rams and then the Patriots, what's the mentality that you guys need to take with you on the road to have success? To be honest with you, it's one game at a time. You can't sit there and look at the Patriots and you don't take care of the Rams. So right now, we're going to do everything we have to do as far as look at this film, correct the mistakes, and then go into the rounds of what we have to do. We'll worry about the Patriots when we get there. But just, but just in general, the fact that you, know, you guys are going to be going on, a, on the road, totally different environment, not having the, the home field advantage, um, just what's the mentality that you guys have to take with you next as you face this, this next challenge? Uh, the biggest thing, to be honest with you, is bringing your own energy. You're not going to have the fans behind you to be over there to get you that camaraderie. You got to lean on your brothers. Then the next thing is taking the steps and not having so many penalties. Let's not beat each other. You know, allow that other team to beat you. And then execute. If we do those three things, we can win. I said, um, Mike Evans said that, that um, you know, when the game is kind of having those lull periods or like you give up a touchdown or, you know, you allow them to come back and, and all of a sudden it's, it's 28 to 25. Um, you said you guys need to stay engaged. Is, is that is that accurate? What do you guys need to do to, to kind of avoid having those lull periods and, and really put four quarters together? I mean, it's the NFL. You know, you're still playing a great team on the other side of the ball. And uh, you give them any glimpse of light, you have to understand how to stop all that momentum and, and gather it back as a team. So uh, in those points and in them times, we have to learn how to lean on each other and go out there and execute, whether it's offense going out there or defense on sudden change, special teams hanging it up, making the play. So when you feel those times, what can I do to put my team in a place where it can be successful? I counted four, four deflected passes today. 
could have been more. Is that the most you guys have had in a while? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We figured out, you know, he was getting it out fast and he wasn't allowing our rush to get there. So, shoot, get your hands up. If you beat your guy and you can't, you know, fully get past him, get your hands up and see how we can help the secondary.